know a lot of you fought through a lot of traffic and crazy Thursday stuff to get here, and I know there's some other folks. I actually had someone to text me on the way from Tyler, Texas, to get here. I'm telling you, there's some people who are wanting to go to the next level in their life. And when we come together in spaces like this, I believe that that's going to happen. Is there anybody that believes that with me? All right, all right. Well, listen, um, don't get out, Queen. Thank you so much. Aren't they amazing? Yeah. All right, these are my people. Hey, man, this is Bree on the bass. Thinking 
And the issue is, is that religion, by and large, whether you were in church or whether you just happened to be a member of Western society affected by the church, <coughs> religion has made us small. Now, I want y'all to hold on. They know me out in the streets for being a table shaker, and I might do that on tonight. But religion has made us small. And what I want to do on tonight is to help us see how big we really are. Yeah. So I want to talk to us tonight about a few things. I want to talk to us about our identity. I want to talk to us about our authority. I want to talk to us about our attitude. Mm. Our identity, an understanding of our real authority, and having that attitude will shift everything in the universe to line up with what you say. That just blew somebody's hair back. You've got enough power when you know who you are, when you know what you're authorized to do, and you have the proper attitude about who you are and what you can do. Your life can change in an instant. Y'all ready to talk about it? See, what I know and what some of you all know is that there is a universal shift happening. Whether you're able to identify it or not, you can feel it. There's something you feel like the ground is shaking under you. There's something in the atmosphere that's, that's moving. It's in the politics. It's in the religion. It's in our families. It's in the economy. It's in your own personal relationship with yourself. There is a universal shift happening. And the reason that you're feeling this shift is that there is something in the species, this human species, that is starting to wake up to who we really are. Mm. If you didn't know who you were, I'm going to tell you. You're divine. You're made of God's stuff. The source, the creator, the one, the only presence is what you're made of. If you come from a Christian background or have any knowledge of uh, the Holy Bible, these writings that were found and formed and fashioned into what we call the Holy Bible, you read in one of the creation stories, because there are two creation stories in the Bible, if you did not know. I'll do a teaching about Bible contradiction another time. <laughs> But if you read one of the creation stories and you believe it, you believe that Genesis 1, 26, 27, 28 talks about God creating humankind in God's image and likeness. Anybody believe that? Do you believe that? I would venture to say that most people who quote that don't believe that. I'm going to tell you why. Because every time we stand up and tell you that you're good, you retort and say, well, I'm just a sinner saved by grace. <laughs> every time we tell you you are divine, you start to enact the filthy rag theology. And what we've got to do is allow what's happening in the spirit to connect with what's going on intellectually. See, our minds have got to be able to process what's going on in our spirit. And our spirit knows that we are bigger than what we are. All right. I want to say to somebody in this room today that your situation is lying on you. <laughs> yeah, where you live ain't telling the story of who you really are. The money you're making is not telling the story of who you really are. Some of your relationships are lying on you. You are better than that. Yes, you are. 
I know y'all might not understand it, but I'm still filling your bucket. I'm still filling your bucket. I'm dropping some stuff in there to help you to see and know and understand your identity. You are made of God's stuff. I didn't say religious stuff. I didn't say churchy stuff. How many know God is greater than religion? Whether you identify as a Christian or Muslim or Buddhist or Taoist, Krishna or Hindu, God is greater than all of those things. We are universal beings. We have stardust on the inside of us. And what we've got to do is break out of those limitations that have been placed on us. And for too long, too many of us were never given permission to be any more than what we already are. I don't want nobody to cuss tonight. <laughs> but I want you to get an indignance in your spirit. I want you to have something on the inside of you that rejects small. I want you to get something that, that just kicks against being in a box or being in, a, in, 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 in this little thing. You're bigger than what they say about you. I'm filling the bucket. And so... We want to deal with some identity issues. Because many of us are having an identity crisis. You think you're black. <laughs> or white. Or male or female. Or tall or short. Or thin. Or fluffy. <laughs> but I want you to understand that the essence of who you are cannot be seen with natural eyes. Oh, let me say it again. The real you cannot be perceived with natural eyes. The real you can only be perceived when you get lifted and elevated to another place. People, catch this, who are not functioning on the plane that you're functioning on cannot see you. Y'all picking up what I'm putting down? Yeah. They can't even see you. And as you are figuring yourself out, and as you are getting a grasp on your divine identity, there are some people who will never really connect intellectually or spiritually to divinity. And so it's not that they're a bad person, they just can't see you. Y'all all right? Because yes. that's going to help you go home and decide who you call back and who you don't. Yes. Y'all all right? They can't see you. And if they can't see you, it is possible that they will collide with you. If they can't really see you and see your value, they may abuse you. And so we've got to tap in to this shift. We've got to tap in to this universal understanding. We've got to tap in to what I believe is a new great awakening. We are waking up, but I want to say something to us, and I hope to not offend anyone. If I do, Call me about it later on. <laughs> but you will never truly awaken to your truest identity until you start saying no to the things that offend your soul.